In this video we're going to add like terms and then solve. We'll do this page one here in this video. We'll do these uh, six examples, okay? So please write down the first one. 3a plus 5a equals 160. 3a plus 5a equals 160. Write it down and go ahead and solve it. You know how to do it now, right? So sometimes you need to simplify one side before we solve the equation. Right, so here we're just adding like terms. We've got three apples plus five apples on the left, right? So we're just going to add like terms on the left. Three apples plus five apples is how many apples? Eight apples, right? Eight apples costs 160 cents. So how much does one apple cost, right? So now that's just eight times A, right, equals 160. We've got to undo multiplying by 8. How would you undo multiplying by 8? Divide by 8, right? On both sides, okay? So 8a divided by 8. 8 and 8 goes once here and here. You have 1a over 1, which is just a. a equals and 160 over 8. 8 into 8 goes once. 8 into 16 goes how many times? What's 8 into 16? Sorry, 8 into 16. 8 into 16 goes twice. And 8 into 0 goes 0 times, so 20. So A equals 20, right? Now, write this one down. 7B plus B plus 2B equals 15 plus 135. 7b plus b plus 2b equals 15 plus 135. Write it down. And we're going to add like terms and then solve. So it's 7 bananas plus a banana plus 2 bananas equals 15 cent plus 135 cent. So what's the price of a banana, right? So when you see this b here, remember that's one banana. So don't be afraid to put the number 1 right there. And now add up the bananas. How many bananas on the left? Seven bananas plus one, that's eight bananas plus two. How many bananas? Ten bananas, right? And on the right hand side, 15 plus 135. Well, add the five, that's 140. And add the ten, that's 150. So ten bananas cost 150 cent. How much does one banana cost? It's 10 times B equals 150, right? So to undo multiplying by 10, you've got to divide by 10, right? And you've got to divide this side also by 10. So divide both sides by 10. 10 bananas divided equally among 10 children. Each child gets one banana. And as you can see, the 10s cross cancel. 10 to 10 goes once, 10 to 10 goes once, but you still have a B here. So it's actually 1 times B over 1 which just makes B. So we have B equals 150 over 10. You can cross cancel the zeros and that's just 15. 15 over 1, right? 10 into 150 goes 15 times, okay? B equals 15. Now write this one down. 3A minus 4A equals negative 12 minus 4. 3A minus 4A equals negative 12 minus 4. Can you press pause and solve that one yourself? See if you can do it yourself. But uh, three apples take away four apples is how many apples? Three apples take away four apples is negative one apple. Or negative A, same thing, right? Negative one A, negative A, same thing. And then we have negative 12 minus four. That's the same thing as negative 12 plus negative 4, isn't it? Right, so a negative 12 plus a negative 4 is a negative 16, right? So we have negative 1 times a equals negative 16. How do you undo multiplying by negative 1? Well, just divide by negative 1 on both sides, okay? So on the left we have negative over negative, which is positive, positive, 1a, right? Or just a. On the right hand side, what do we have? Negative 16 over negative 1. What's that? That's a negative over negative, which is 
positive, and 16 over 1, 16, right? A equals 16. Write this one down. Negative B minus 8B equals 1 minus 136. Negative B minus 8B equals 1 minus 136. So, when you see negative B, that's take away a banana. Take away one banana, right? So take away a banana or take it away one banana is the same thing. You can put a one there, and that's what that. That's actually minus one banana. So if you're taking away a banana and then you take away another eight bananas, how many bananas are you taking away altogether, right? Or you could think of it this way: a negative one B plus a negative eight B is how many B's? How many bananas? That's one negative plus eight more negatives. How many negatives is that? That's negative nine bananas, right? And on the right hand side, what's one minus 136? I have a dollar, I spend 136 dollars, how many dollars do I have now? You could think of that as one plus negative 136, right? One positive, 136 negatives. That makes negative 135, right? So now it's negative 9 times b equals negative 135. How do you undo multiplying by negative 9? You gotta undo multiplying by negative 9. You got to divide by negative 9, right? Now if you divide the left by that, you gotta divide the right also by negative 9. What does that give you? So we've got negative over negative, that's positive. 9 over 9 is 1 and we still have the b left over, right? Positive 1b. Or you can think of it this way. Negative over negative makes plus plus. 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 9 goes once, and we have 1 times b over 1, or just b, right? Can you see that? Equals. And here we have negative over negative, which is? What's negative over negative? Positive. And 135 over 9. And you can do nine, let's see, got a spare piece of paper. And we can do nine into 135. I hope you can do this, right? What's nine into 13? Nine into 13, one time, remainder, four. It's one time, remainder four. Put the four here, see that? Now what's nine into 45? 9 into 45 is 5, right? So the answer is B equals, the answer is here, 15. B equals 15. And it is a positive because negative over negative makes positive. See that? Okay. So let's try this one. Negative 1 minus 19 equals negative 2A minus 3A plus A. Write it down. See if you can do it yourself. So write this down, press pause and try it yourself. It's negative 1 minus 19 equals negative 2a minus 3a plus a. Press pause, do it yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So on the left I have negative 1 minus 19, right? I'm in debt a dollar, I subtract 19 dollars, how many dollars are, am I in debt now? In debt a dollar, subtract 19, I'm now in debt by? 20. Or I could do this. This is negative 1 plus negative 19. Right? It's a ne negative 1 plus negative 19 makes a negative 20. Right? So, by the way, what we're doing in this video obviously is we're simplifying both sides and then we're solving. Right? So, we've got to add like terms on both sides and then solve the equation. Right? So, uh, on the right hand side, we've got negative 2a minus 3a plus a. Right? That's two, negative two apples minus three apples plus one apple. Don't forget the one there, right? So, um, what does that make? Well, two negatives plus negative three. A negative two plus a negative three is a negative five. And then you, so you got negative five and then plus one, that's a positive one. 
that all makes a negative four. Negative four apples on the right, right? So negative 20 equals negative 4a. How do I solve this? Remember, you've got to get the a by itself. What's happening to the a? What's been done to the a? The a is being multiplied by 4. So you've got to divide by what? you got to divide by, I mean negative 4. So you got to divide by negative 4 to get the a by itself. You see, if you divide that by negative 4, you'll get negative over negative positive, right? 4 over 4 is 1, and then you still have a. You'll get positive 1a, which is the same thing as a, okay? So we need to divide by negative 4 to get a by itself. But if I divide that side by negative 4, I must divide this side also by a negative 4, okay? So what does the left-hand side give you? That's a negative over negative, which is positive, and 20 over 4 is 5. So a equals 5, or 5 equals a. You can write it both ways. a equals 5, 5 equals a, same thing, right? Okay, so press pause, write this one down, and do it all yourself. It's 13 equals negative 4x minus 10x plus x. So write this one down, press pause, do the whole thing yourself. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now in case you need help. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. So we've got to simplify both sides before we solve. We don't start adding 4x to both sides or anything like that. We need to simplify both sides and then solve it. Okay? So on the right hand side, we just have 13. So that can stay there. That's fine. But on, or sorry, on the left hand side, we just have 13. But on the right hand side, we have a negative 4x minus 10x plus x. Now, when you see x all by itself, it doesn't tell you how many x's that is. Right? How many? It's not 2x, it's not 3x. It's actually just 1x. So put a 1 there. Might help. So you got negative 4 and a negative 10 and a plus 1. That's 4 bad guys, 10 bad guys, and 1 good guy. How much is that all together? If you want, you can change this subtraction to plus negative. And now clearly it's negative 4x plus negative 10x plus 1x. Right? So you can see that that is a negative... 14x plus a 1x. So that's 14 negatives and 1 positive. What does that make? It makes a negative 13x, right? So the equation becomes 13 equals negative 13x. What is x being multiplied by here? x is being multiplied by a negative 13, right? So to undo multiplying by negative 13, you've got to divide by negative 13, right? On both sides. Divide both sides by negative 13, right? Now on the right, the reason you do that is because on the right, you get negative over negative is positive. 13 over 13 is 1, and you still have an x left over. Positive 1x, which is the same thing as 1x, or just x, right? Or you can think of it this way, the 13's cross cancel. See that? They cross cancel and they leave you with this x here, right? And the negative over negative makes positive, right? On the left hand side you have positive over negative. What's the sign on the left? Positive over negative is what sign? It's a negative and 13 over 13 is 1. So x equals negative 1 or negative 1 equals x, same thing. Right?